Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I have been MIA for a while and I will have like a separate, like we'll catch up later. Um, but for now, I got a bunch of stuff from all these different stores and I really want to use them. So <laughs> I like need to show you them first. So I had a poll on Twitter and I asked you guys what you want to see next and nobody voted on a beauty haul. So I figured I would just do that one first because I am so annoying. I am fresh out of the shower. It's raining outside and I've had a rough week, so we are just gonna get comfortable right now. Um, so without further ado, here's my winter beauty haul. So I guess I'll start with things that I've used before and I was like replenishing and then we'll go into things that I haven't used um, and maybe put them on and see what's going on. So first I'm gonna start with the Hamish or Hymish All Clean Balm. Let's see right there. It opens just like a regular cap. So this is a cleansing balm. Um, they recently redid their packaging before it was like a twist off and now it is a nice little pop-up cap. Um, this is great. I got this for about 16 or $17 on Amazon. Um, you can get it on, I think Glow Recipe also has it, but Amazon, if you have Prime, ships a lot faster. Um, but it's really just like a high quality cleansing balm. Like I have no irritation with this, it really gets the job done. I've been using it. This is maybe like my third or fourth tub um, and you get let's see you get 120 mil um, convert that because I can't <laughs> it's like all in Korean like it's legit what's going on yeah there we go see crazy so um, and there's really like no smell to it it's like really clean I'm not gonna do it. I wanna keep it nice and clean for myself. It really gets like everything out. Like after I use it, I just feel clean. And sometimes I might just like go with the second like round of that as opposed to a different cleanser. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. I will link it down below. I hate when people do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so keeping with the Korean skincare, I definitely wanna show you guys the Acne Pimple Master Patches by CosRx. Now these I get on Amazon for $5 and they come in a pack of 24 patches and they're all different shapes. Or no, they're all round but they're all different sizes I should say. Um, and so you just put them on, they, they stick on, they're like a little, actually you know what, I have one. So the, they come like here's one, I have two left in this one. These like little like silicone feeling patches and they really stick on and I mean like when I put them on at first, I was like, oh, like these won't really work, like they won't stick on. You know like those waterproof band-aids that they're like not waterproof at all. They actually like don't stay on at all. I was afraid it would be like this, but these actually stay on like a cloth band-aid, if that makes sense. It like immediately goes away or it brings everything to the surface. And so it at least, it speeds up the process, I should say. Um, I literally have no idea what's in them. I can't read this. But I trust CosRx though, I've never used them and had the irritation or anything like that. And I've been using at least something from them for a few years now. I've kind of switched it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, you really can't go wrong. It's five bucks, give it a try. So something that's like kind of new to me, but I've used before is the Mario Badescu Aloe Vera, what is this, toner? And I've used the Cucumber Cleansing Lotion, I think it's called, or the, yeah, I think that's it as like a toner before, like I'll use it after I shave or just like before bed or something like that. Um, and I really liked it for a long time, but at one point my Ulta like ran out of it and they had this in its place, but I actually kind of prefer this. Um, it's for dry and sensitive skin, so it's really great for the winter. And some ingredients are just, it's just water and aloe vera. I mean, there's some like dyes in here and I'm not really happy about it, but whatever. I think this is about like 14, $14 for eight ounces, which is pretty good. Um, I just put it on a little cotton pad and wipe it all over and just really kind of like soothes and like rehydrates my skin. So something that I'm like really surprised I love is this Unisex Healthy Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. Now I got this for the first time like over the summer and I was like, you know what? I wanted something that was like a BB cream, but like not so much. I didn't want anything thick. You know, and I feel like it's so hard to find a BB cream that's not, and I've used a few, but I don't know, I didn't love any of them. And I saw this in a YouTube video being used, I think it was by Charlotte Tilbury herself, and she used it on like both the girl and the guy. 
they both just looked like healthy. I mean, it's true. It's like a unisex healthy glow. And so a lot of people use this under foundation or alone. I use it alone and I just use a concealer and then I set it and I'm like good to go. And I actually get like the most compliments from using this. Um, this is about $40 for 40 or 1.3 ounces, which I feel like is fair considering a normal foundation is about one ounce. And it's usually, I mean, anything high end is like 30 bucks and over. So I get mine off Beautylish and you can obviously get it off Charlotte Tilbury, but I know Nordstrom carries it as well. Um, so yeah, really like this. This is my second tube. Okay, so now we're getting to the stuff that I haven't used before, and this is like what I'm excited for. Um, I guess, I don't know where to start. Let's start, okay, I guess we'll start with this one because it's like a basic thing. This is just a rose, what is it, the eye mask? An eye mask. Um, I basically got this because I needed my cart to equal $50 when they had like 25 off 50, and I think this is five bucks, and I obviously got it in Sephora. I love rose. Rose is definitely like my favorite scent when it comes to anything like skincare or even like a candle. I have a huge rose candle that I'm still burning to this day. It's like one of these like those huge like inky candle ones. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this just to get it under your eyes. I might use it tonight actually because I'm looking pretty haggard. So up next is this Kiehl's lip balm. So Kiehl's is now being carried by Sephora, which I thought was so amazing. <laughs> so just looks like this. Not gonna focus. There we go. The only thing I'm not loving is the application. It's just like a like it's squared off. There's no like lip situation. So it has squalane and antioxidant vitamin E um, ingredients. I mean, it's petroleum based, which is fine, but it does have some oils in here. It look it has wheat germ oil in it, so it's not gluten free. So if you are gluten free, stay away from this. Um, but aside from that, this was I think seven dollars for 0.5 ounces. I don't know. Did I need it? Probably not, but I like, I'm a sucker for a good lip balm and I needed one. And I'm one of those people, like I don't mind investing in one because I use it all year round. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like have a little situation. That's nice. I keep looking at myself, I don't care. Okay. All right, up next is a concealer. So during the winter, my under eyes get so dry no matter what I do. Like I don't have dry skin, but they get so dry. And so um, I think it was Mariah Leonard on here that said her under eyes get really dry and she used this concealer by Milk Makeup. I think this is called the Flex Concealer. Yeah, the Flex Concealer. And it's cool, it has like a little tube and then comes out with like a wand. Like you wouldn't think, I don't know, when I first opened, I wasn't expecting a little like applicator. I was expecting kind of like, kind of like a lip balm, balm, lip balm, balm or like a gloss situation where it has like that like angled like this. Like a that, um, like a that situation to like really get under your eyes. But I was pleasantly surprised. I think this was $28 and let's throw that back there. Um, for 0.2 ounces, which is, you know, up there, but, you know, maybe worth it. So we will see. So up next is something from a brand that's new to me. It's from the brand Nyad, and this is their Photography Fluid, what is this? Opacity 12%, or opacity, whatever. Um, it's a highlighting serum. So I saw this, I saw Jamie use this, and I was like, oh, her skin looks really nice. It kind of just, like, goes on, has a little dropper here, um... It's white, that's weird. I kind of want to put some on. Do I want to put some on? <gasps> Shit. Oh no. I'm getting it everywhere. This was like not cheap, you guys. I think it was like $30 for one ounce. And I got this on Beautylish too when I got my Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I have to shave and yeah, I'm breaking out bite me. Oh, that's nice. So it's supposed to give you like a do and I feel like it is. I feel like, I don't know, I have really bad lighting in here right now. Yeah, looks good. So in here, 
there's actually no ingredients on the bottle, but it says an advanced colorless priming fluid that uses next generation nanoprismatic particles to reflect light, balance out undesirable hues, and contains technology to make skin appear specifically, appear, oh, appear better specifically in photographs. Apply instead of or under foundation. Cool. Yeah, I feel like my skin looks a little less red. So up next, I've been really getting into like multivitamins and like probiotics and stuff like that. And so I wanted to try this one from Hum. It's the Here Comes the Sun Vitamin D3 without the UV damage. Um, I feel like in the winter I get like really depressed and I definitely need that like sun feeling. And so when I saw this, I know it like obviously is a little bit different, but it says charge up without the sunburn. Here Comes the Sun is high in vitamin D3 that is regarded superior to D2 and supports the skin, mood, immune system, and calcium absorption. Um, this is, I think, $25 or $20 at Sephora. And how many do you get in here? Two soft gels, servings per container. Doesn't make sense. So you get 120 gels in here? That's crazy. Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know, I feel like they like, don't fit in here. I don't know. But that's exciting. I'm gonna say crusty. So my last two products are still new to me and they have to do with hair care. So I think first I'm gonna go into cleansing. So this is the AG Hair Care Cleansing Balm. Hey. Um, somebody I follow on Instagram, I actually went to high school with her and she said, her name's Sarah, hey Sarah. She said if you have um, dry hair to try this out and I do, so. Um, this was, I think, $16 for 12 ounces. It's a cleansing balm, and it's meant for... There's, like, really dry and damaged hair, and it says the AG Cleansing Cream is the gentlest way to refresh your hair and takes the place of traditional shampoo and conditioner. It's ideal for super dry or brittle hair. It's formulated with AG's exclusive sea complex, combining anti-aging sea berry oil, natural seaweed extracts, and a nourishing conditioning base to gently remove dirt and pollutants from the air. And then it keeps going. Um, because the, the font on this is so small, you guys. I can't even read it. Look how small. Um, wow, that's insane. But yeah, it smells like... Hello. Hey. It smells like minty and refreshing, and I love that. So we will give it a try, and it has a handy-dandy pump. Always good. So my last product here today is also from Kiehl's, and it's the Silk Groom Serum. Now, I think this is new, and it's for a glossy non-fridge, for a glossy non-frizz finish, and it's for straightening, it says, so it's probably like a good heat protectant. So it just says, apply a few drops into the palm and rub together and smooth through clean, damp hair from roots to ends. Finish with a blow dryer or allow to dry naturally for a non-frizz look or for glossy, springy curls. Apply on damp hair to control split ends and flyaways. And you get 2.5 ounces, and I think this was $18. It wasn't too bad. Um, but I definitely wanted something that was lighter than oil, but still, like, gave me hold. Because, like, this is my hair with nothing in it, and it's, like, not too bad. Um, but it definitely needs, like, something. You know what I mean? Like, my curls aren't, like, that great. It's kind of frizzy up here, and I figured maybe this would be nice. I'm actually might put some on right now. Hmm. <laughs> My hair's still kind of damp in the shower. Do you like that? Isn't that nice? My old friend, he's leaving me though. He's almost gone. I gave him the boot with those patches, with my GoSarx patches. Okay. I'm like... You know, I'm liking it. It's not too greasy on my hands either. I cannot stand having oil on my hands. I have to wash them immediately. Drama. I guess that's it. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that's it for my winter beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link everything down below, and then we're in the beginning of the month right now, so maybe by the end of the month, I'll kind of like show you guys what worked for me, what didn't, um, if I will repurchase or whatever. Um, but first and foremost, you guys can expect an updated skincare routine from me. And then after that, I definitely want to, like, chit-chat and 
get caught up in everything because I know you guys have all like wondered where I am. Y'all care so much. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.